In this video, I'm going to install OpenSUSE Leap 42.1 on an external drive, and I'm using a USB flash drive as the installation medium. It worked very well with this distribution. See my general video on this subject for more information. Since there's no live session here, I'm going to click on installation. When the installer loads, uh, you're greeted with a license agreement. Be sure to read that. And the language is English US. The keyboard is English US. I'm not going to use this difficult method of connecting to the internet because it's very easy to do once the system is installed. And therefore I'm not going to add the online repositories. Now OpenSUSE makes a proposal and their default proposal is for the B-Tray file system also called ButterFS. It's much too complicated for me and I don't want to use it. Plus the fact that they've used my internal Linux swap partition and I don't want that so I'm going to click on expert partitioner and I'm going to delete these two partitions. Really? Delete? Yes. Bear in mind that they're not actually written to disk yet, they're just a proposal. Now I'm going to add a partition to my external drive I'm going to make it a primary partition and I'm going to give it six gigabytes and make it a swap partition. Format it as swap and mount it as swap. I'm going to add another partition, another primary partition. This will be the operating system it will be the ext4 file system and it will be mounted at forward slash which is the root directory the entry point of the system i'm going to give it everything else that's left which is 925.51 gigabytes now i'm going to point to my internal linux swap partition and edit it and I'm going to say do not format the partition and do not mount the partition. Now the internal system will still mount it but the external system will ignore it. This is my new proposal. I'm creating a swap volume on SDC1 of 6 gigabytes and I'm creating a root volume on SDC2 of 925.51 gigabytes formatted with the ext4 file system and then click on next since I'm not connected to the internet they assume I'm in New York but I'm going to select Chicago click on next now notice at the lower left where it says hardware clock set for UTC I'm leaving that unchecked the reason for that is that Linux defaults to universal time for the hardware clock while Windows which I have on one of my internal partitions defaults to local time and since it's easier to change Linux than it is to change Windows I'm going to leave this at local time. I have a choice between the GNOME and the KDE desktop and since KDE is the default for OpenSUSE I'm going to select that. You really won't notice it on this installation. I'm going to enter a name. In this case it's a fictitious name and the system generates a username in lowercase letters. I can change that but it has to remain in lowercase letters. Then I'm going to enter a password and confirm the password. Then I'm going to leave checked use this password for system administrator but I'm going to uncheck automatic login and then click on next. 
This is the booting system they have set up. They have the bootloader located on my root partition, which I don't want. I want it installed into the master boot record or the beginning of my external disk, not on one of the partitions. Also notice that they have the order of hard disks as device SDC, device SDA, which is the internal disk, and then device SDB, another external disk. I don't want that. I want to move device SDB up in that order. So I go to bootloader settings and they have boot from the root partition. I'm going to change that. I'm going to check boot from the master boot record and custom boot partition and then I'm going to use this drop down menu to select the boot location and I'm going to select device SDC. Now I'm going to click on bootloader installation details and I get the disk order settings. I'm going to click on up to move SDB into second place and then click on OK. Now this is my current setup. The bootloader is located on device SDC, the master boot record, which is what I want, and the order of hard disks is device SDC, device SDB, and device SDA. Remember, in this case, since I'm using a flash drive as the installation medium, that's going to be device SDB at the moment, and my external disk is device SDC. But when I remove the flash drive and operate with just my external disk, that's going to become device SDB. Now I'm going to click on Install. The installation has begun. This is a very large download, so it's going to take a while, so I'm going to skip to the end. When it's finished, it will tell you that the system will reboot and it gives you a countdown. I'm going to click OK. After the system has shut down, but before I restart, I'm going to remove the installation USB flash drive and I'm going to make sure that the system will reboot to my external drive. When the system reboots you'll see the bootloader menu. The first option is OpenSUSE Leap 42.1. If I just wait that will open automatically. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.